signs and wonders were being manifest through the name of the Lord, through their hands. And it says, for their heart was hardened. They, how could their heart be hardened that quick? A hard heart will hinder the work of God in your life. Remember we let, read last week in Hebrews, he talked to them, he said, the deceitfulness of sin, be not hardened through the deceitfulness of sin, and have not an evil heart of unbelief. Now, uh, I said before that you can believe by seeing. That is, that is one way. But you can also believe by trusting. You know, when you trust the Lord and you believe what He says, that's why He says an evil heart of unbelief. Now, you might see somebody who says, well, I, I just don't have any faith. And I, I just don't see how God can, is going to work this out. I just don't see how He's going to do it. And they can say it with a nice voice. And you're saying, that's not really evil, is it? That's not an evil heart. They're being sweet. They're just... They, you know. But what is unbelief? The core of unbelief doubts God. What would you say? Lack of faith. And it's, it's, it doubts God. And when you doubt God, what you're doubting is what He has said He will do. He won't, he won't do it. What you're saying, when you have unbelief, and, and we all experience it. And that's why you've got to keep pressing on. Right? And you, and you repent. And you say, God, I'm sorry. Uh, Lord, help my unbelief. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Have you been there before? I do believe, God, but help. i got unbelief too. So when you go from saying, okay, God... I believe your word, and I'm going to trust your word. And I believe that you're going to show me step by step. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. He didn't say thy word is a, a million watt, candle watt spotlight so that I can see five years down the road. A lamp gives you the next step. That's the way God, that's how our faith is built as we follow God. Day by day, step by step, moment by moment. And your faith is strengthened. Because you see that God, you know what? I don't, uh, I don't see the big picture. I don't see how God's going to bring the solution here. But He's going to give me what I need today. Right? I am. Uh, he's here now. He's the great I am. Even now. And so unbelief. It goes to the core of God's character. Unbelief says, God, I really don't think that you can do it. And without faith, it's impossible to please God. So you have to be uh, militant with doubt. You have to, to be vigilant, sober and vigilant. Because the enemy is seeking whom he may devour. And how does the enemy devour? He comes in and he sows doubt. He comes in and he sows uh, mistrust. He comes in and he sows uh, offenses. If the, that's, that's what he wants to do. He wants to deceive the believer. So, um, you know, when somebody comes up to me and says, hey, will you, will you believe with me? Will you, will you just trust God with me? You know, they're wanting you to join with them in faith. You know, and, and unless I get a big check in the Spirit that what they're believing for is not right, I'll join with them. Somebody comes to me and says, Doc, uh, the doctor just gave me a bad report. Uh, will you believe with me to trust the Lord for all that He has for me? I will. I'll stand with you. I will stand with you. And let's, let's let God determine the next step. Right? Let's put ourselves into the hands of God and trust that uh, as the children in the hands of a father and a mother, that we would entrust ourselves into the hands of, a, of a, our Heavenly Father. Amen? Amen. So, let's, uh, I'd just like to gather around. Billy, can we pray for you today? Let's just gather around Billy. Uh,